Hello, welcome back. Uh, today I want to talk to you about more of the major minerals. We're going to talk today about calcium, uh, phosphorus, uh, and magnesium, uh, and how they are important for athletes. So let's take a look at the importance of calcium for our athletes. Calcium is important um, for bones and teeth. Um, it's important for bone strength, and most of our calcium is stored in our bones. Uh, however, calcium can be lost in sweat. Uh, so for athletes doing uh, exercise with uh, low impact, uh, things like cycling, uh, this can re result in uh, slow loss of calcium through sweating uh, and uh, decreased bone density. Now this is something that you need to be aware of in your sport. Um, adequate intake is absolutely necessary to grow a healthy skeleton, so calcium intakes are very important for young athletes. Um, and athletes, all athletes, uh, need to have appropriate calcium intakes to prevent stress fractures, like this sort of stress fracture occurring here in a metatarsal bone. The recommended dietary allowance for adults is around 1,000 milligrams per day, with an upper limit of around 2,500 milligrams uh, per day. Uh, exceeding the upper limit can result in calcification of blood vessels and potentially renal problems like kidney stones. Uh, deficiency is very rare. Um, in fact, it's very difficult to tell if someone is deficient in calcium uh, because the bone stores of calcium are so large um, and those bone stores will release calcium into the blood so the blood levels of calcium remain constant even if bone density is dropping dramatically. Um, athletes who are at risk for calcium inadequ inadequacy are um, female athletes uh, and athletes post-menopause. Uh, as estrogen levels drop post-menopause um, calcium uptakes uh, become reduced. Um, athletes who are low for vitamin D also are at risk of low calcium intake. Um, lactose intolerant athletes uh, may struggle to get calcium from other sources. In fact, lactose intolerant athletes really need to focus on getting the recommended dietary allowance of calcium from sources other than dairy products. Uh, vegan athletes similarly need to focus on getting calcium into their diet. And low impact sports with high sweat rates, for example cyclists, um, are at risk of low bone density and low calcium um, uptakes. Uh, calcium inadequacy um, can be seen uh, typically after uh, the peak of bone mass, which occurs somewhere in uh, the 20s. Um, adults continually lose uh, bone after their 20s. Um, that starts at around age 30 and 40, and um, calcium uh, levels, calcium concentrations in bones will continue to decline, um, resulting in osteoporosis. Around 10 million people in the United States, mostly women, um, are, suffer from osteoporosis. It is a, a silent disease. It's very difficult to diagnose without doing a bone density scan, but it does have severe consequences. Um, unfortunately, blood samples provide no clue that calcium is inadequate in the diet, and uh, you need to do bone density measurements. A DEXA scan is used to diagnose and to treat um, osteoporosis. All women over the age of 65 must uh, should see their doctor to get a DEXA scan to make sure that their bone density is not dropping dangerously low. Next, let's look at uh, phosphorus. Phosphorus found in a number of different foods like uh, nuts and seeds, broccoli, tuna fish, uh, potatoes, dairy products. Um, it's the second most abundant mineral in the body. It's found in hydroxy, um, appetite crystals in the bones and in the teeth. It's important for buffering um, pHs in the body, for DNA and RNA synthesis, uh, for energy metabolism. Um, we need phosphorus as part of all of our phospholipids and cell membranes and for structural components of cell membranes. Phosphorus is uh, very abundant uh, in foods that we eat and phosphorus uh, deficiency or inadequacy is extremely rare, so it's not something most athletes need to worry about. Magnesium, on the other hand, uh, is really important for athletes. Um, you can find magnesium things like bananas and nuts and avocado um, and dairy products. 
Um, it is found uh, mostly in the bones, um, but there is also a reservoir in, in blood. Um, it helps to maintain uh, blood uh, bone density along with calcium and vitamin D. Magnesium is essential for energy metabolism as part of a complex magnesium adenosine triphosphate. This is the energy that we require for muscle firing. So magnesium is essential for muscle, uh, muscle activity. Um, it's important in muscle contraction, it's important in blood clotting, and it's important for immune system function. Uh, so I like to think about calcium, magnesium, and vitamin D together. Now uh, you need all three uh, for correct functioning, uh, for correct bone density, uh, and correct uh, action, muscle potential action uh, in athletes. The recommended dietary allowance for magnesium is around uh, 360 to 420 milligrams per day. Most US adults fall below this recommendation. Um, drinking tap water can be helpful. You can get magnesium from hard water straight out of the tap. Um, a lot of bottled water actually does not have magnesium in it. So sometimes it's better to drink tap water. Uh, deficiency is rare, but if you are suffering from inadequate uh, magnesium, you will suffer from muscle weakness. Athletes who are at risk, particularly at risk of female uh, athletes, postmenopausal athletes, similar to uh, like low calcium uptake following uh, decline in estrogen, um, there's also low magnesium uptake. Uh, lactose intolerant athletes are often deficient for magnesium. Vegan athletes can be deficient for magnesium. And again, low impact sports with high sweat rates. Uh, uh, for example, cyclists can lose a lot of magnesium in their sweat and need to replace that magnesium regularly.